Hi, I am Balakrishnan K, Assistant Professor, Department of Aeronautical Engineering, Magendra Engineering College. Today we are going to see that, discuss the topic about the air, airframe maintenance interpreter in that we are going to ha going to see the topic of uh, aircraft, how we are going to handle in the ground station, that is we call as aircraft ground handling procedure. So basically aircraft ground handling procedure is comes under in the category of the domain what we call as maintenance. So that is we call as MRO. So basically MRO plays a vital role in aviation because the maintenance, safety and rules and regulation will be framed by the MRO. So as for the majorly we are going to uh, discuss about the maintenance processes for the safety of a human being in, while in the category the aircraft maintenance plays a vital role in the uh, aeronautical engineer, we should know what is meant by aircraft maintenance. So that's why we called us to, know, to discuss about what is meant by MRO. So MRO is nothing but M stands for maintenance, R stands for repair and O stands for overall. Before that, first we need to know what is meant by maintenance. So we all know that maintenance is nothing but it's a prevent action. So before we are going to happen anything like a, a small error or an accidents or failure of a particular component before we are going to prevent that that is we called as maintenance so uh, as an uh, aeronautical engineer we should know maintenance plays a vital role so in that an a maintenance engineer what the roles they have to play in an aviation industry so before that so some roles uh, should be played by an aeronautical engineer so aircraft maintenance is comes under in the category of two category basically comes under in the scheduled that is what we called as planning category and another one is we called as unscheduled so that is, comes not on the category of planned category so next duties of an aircraft maintenance engineer it's nothing but the role plays and responsibility about the component about the instruments about the systems and all accessories equipments and whole airplane specifically in the airplane means with all the responsibility come from pilot uh, maintenance engineer ground handling staffs all the things uh, in that aircraft ground handling, so only the action should be taken play only in the action what in done in the ground only. That is nothing, ground is nothing but it's airport. So in the airport, while the aircraft is going to take off and landing, two actions will be commonly done. In that runway, the airplane once, uh, once landed properly, after that all the action we called as aircraft ground handling. So how we are going to handle the aeroplane in the runway so that is we called as ground handling so four actions actually once they landed the engine is shut off properly after that the airplane will be taken into aero hangar by using some external trucks like uh, with some connectivity of ropes and uh, connectivity of trucks through that we taken the airplane from airport runway to aero hangar so the that process we called as aircraft towing so so the first process we call as aircraft towing, the moving forward of an airplane from the runway to aero hangar. So next, the, in the maintenance process, we should know whether we are going to check or uh, inspecting the proper uh, systems or components, whatever it may be. So it not done in the ground. So we need to lift the airplane. That process we call as air, airplane jacking. So whether we are going to inspect an airplane uh, engines or landing gears or wings, whatever it may be. So it's not done in the ground handling. So we need to using some jack by using some pneumatic system or hydraulic system. We are going to lift the airplane from uh, ground station to some alt some height. So that is we called as that process we called as airplane jacking. So for that uh, doing some jacking procedure, the need some proper type of an uh, engineer that not an engineer ground handling staff with respect to what timing is required, what manpower is required to complete the jacking, pro jacking process. Why jacking plays an important role means while at the time of we are going to lifting an airplane, it may be fell down in one side. So, so all the process, all the jacks, all the things will be simultaneously, uh, properly, all the three jacks should be, all the points, uh, jack points should be simultaneously jacking. So for that, the jacking plays a vital role. And the next one is leveling. After jacking completion of an, that procedure, we are going to point outing the position of an airplane with respect to CG. So CG is nothing but center of gravity. So we need to place or we need to uh, 
calculating the center of gravity of an overall of an airplane that is nothing but mass point that is center of gravity that is that process we called as airplane leveling uh, next one is airplane towing is completed next one is airplane mo mooring so mooring that is the basic knowledge that should be know about uh, when we are going to pick it, uh, we are going to tie up an aeroplane with, with respect to tail or wings or nose of an aeroplane. That is nothing but tie, tie down process because the movement of air will be causes whether the airplane moving right side or for right, left side in the aero hangar to prevent the structural failure. For that only we are going to notching the aeroplane that is not moving. Next one is uh, MRO. So we already know that what is meant by M stands nothing but maintenance and R stands for repair and O stands for overall. So in that repair, so majorly repair comes under in the category of maintenance. So the repair can be classified into two categories. One is minor repair and another one is major repair. So some small repairs, small errors will be uh, minorly that should be monitored and inspect that should be maybe so for an example structural components will be very small then the components will be replaced again for the reusage of that is comes under in the category of minor repair major repair the the component defect very heavily so at the time what will happen the component particular component will be replaced or removed from the newer parts that is the two category of repair one is minor and another one is in the category of major Another one is overhauling. So overhauling is nothing but it's like a servicing or inspect. It's nothing but servicing. So overhauling is nothing but all the accessories of an airplane like landing gears, wings, engines, uh, as well as fuel tanks, uh, pneumatic systems, hydraulic systems, brake systems. All the system going to whether with respect to time management, we are going to calculating the process of. Uh, overhauling timing so that is the life of a particular component with respect to flying hours or uh, number of uh, flight cycle with that respect to that the overall is happen some regulation should be followed in the maintenance process so it depends upon different countries uh, from uh, in the indian point of view we need to follow rules and regulation should follow by the indian category of on maintenance is dgca director of general civil aviation it depends upon that all the Airworthiness condition with respect to some C, Civil Aviation Administration of China, it's in the category. UK for following Civil Aviation Authority of United Kingdom and uh, Australia that should followed by Civil Aviation of Safety Authority. From India, we should know that DGCA and uh, EASA is nothing but European Aviation Safety Agencies. For all the rules and regulations should be framed by one category that is we called as uh, FAA, that is nothing but Federal Aviation Administration. That should follow the rules and regulation that is called as FAR, Federal Aviation Regulations. And then some general <coughs> responsibility, yes, the maintenance plays and role of an responsibility of an airplane operator. It starts from the technician, ground handling staffs, aircraft maintenance engineer, co-pilot and pilot and airline staffs also. So the responsibility. So maintenance, before that we need to know about the pre-flight inspection. Uh, rectifying some defects, leakages, uh, checking the tire process, uh, all the things, effectiveness of analysis, uh, then what about the life limits and expiry dates with respect to the particular component, whether the modification done or not, before that in the we should the pilot and the maintenance engineer know that the policy plays like that, then airworthiness directivities. So these are all the some manuals required to uh, about over, what about the components involved in the in airplane all the things should be we called as checklist that is nothing but checklist in the checklist about uh, the fuselage engines and uh, landing gear wow, the overall things about an airplane should be in the checklist thank you